Hello everyone, my name is Lily and today we are going to talk how to set up your mining pool and to get maximum performance out of it. As you remember in my previous video we built 6 GPU 3070 RTX mining rig. If you did not see the video yet, please check the video down below and if you like it and if you find it helpful, please like and subscribe, it will help my channel to get promoted by YouTube algorithms. First of all, let me tell you why I use NiceHash versus others all over the internet. I mined on many of them, including manually tuned and automatically tuned, such as uh, NanoMiner, Binance, NiceHash, HyperS Miner. I am not saying that others are bad, I just think that NiceHash is mostly convenient and easy to set up the zero maintenance after you tune it. And when I said zero, I actually meant that I don't touch my miners for weeks, sometimes even months. If you just installed your Windows and did not tune it yet, I would suggest you download this Windows mining tuner script. It's very useful and easy to use. It turns off most of unnecessary processes in Windows and others. Also, you need to disable Windows Defender to ensure proper work of Nice Hash Miner as well as any others. And one last step is to increase virtual RAM on your PC for at least 60 GB. Here are the steps. Now, when you install the application, I hope you use the referral link I provided down below because Nice Hash gives me small commissions if you use my link. Keep in mind if you have Nvidia cards I suggest using Quick Miner application as it is specifically designed and dedicated for Nvidia cards. If you have AMD please download standard version of NiceHash. A few things to know about NiceHash. This is automated pool which chooses what to mine. If it finds that Ethereum is the most profitable coin, it will mine it. If not, it will mine another coin, which is most unlikely now, since Ethereum is the most profitable, even with the current mining load algorithms. Also, NiceHash enables CPU mining pool for both Intel and AMD processors. It won't mine a lot, but everything adds up. Probably it will help to offset the electric bill. Don't expect to mine much. I believe that even i9 processor mines only a couple of bucks per day. Another huge factor why I chose NiceHash, because it actually mines a coin and pays you in Bitcoin. So instead of you having all of these altcoins in your wallet, you receive your profits in Bitcoin. Obviously, everyone has a different philosophy about Bitcoin. By the way, you can withdraw as little as few dollars from the Nice hash mining wallet versus nano miner only allows you to, to withdraw 0.2 Ethereum from the mining pool. Just keep it in mind. So this is nice hash settings for your rig. Like I mentioned, you can just use autotune. I usually save a profile and use my own settings. It gives a little bit more stability and performance. For 3070, I use minus 500 core and 1100 MHz delta. It's very important to lower the voltage on your cards. We spoke about it in the last video. 37 are okay to consume 130 watt per GPU versus 240 the standard voltage if it's not optimized. It can also restart your rig if your PSU has less power than real GPU consumption by your card. Also, I wanted to give you a hint how to control your mining rig if you don't have a constant connection with your monitor or if you just want to control your rig remotely or if you just want to use if, or if you just want to keep your mining rig in some space cool environment such as your basement or garage, use TeamViewer. There's no better app than a TeamViewer to manage your PC. It is absolutely free, it has no limit as long as you don't use it for the commercial purposes. And I believe um, many of you will use only one rig and one PC, so you'll have no issues. I guess we spoke about everything. 
Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate your support. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. And I will see you in my next episodes where I will talk more about other ways of making money. Thank you.